हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई प्रियंका खान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर लेक्चर ऑन फाइव किंगडम कॉन्सेप्ट दिस टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड टू बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर गोइंग इन टू डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक द फर्स्ट मोस्ट क्वेश्चन अराइजेज वॉट इज किंगडम किंगडम इज द हाइएस्ट हरारिकल पोजिशन ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन एंड बेसिक कैटेगरी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म सिंस एंशियन डेज साइंटिस्ट व ट्राइंग टू प्लेस ऑल द ऑर्गेनिज्म इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज बेस्ड ऑन देयर सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिसिमिलैरिटीज इन दिस कॉन्टेक्सट एरिस्टॉटल प्रपोज टू किंगडम कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ही प्लेस्ड ऑल द ऑर्गेनिज्म इन टू टू किंगडम्स एनिमेलिया एंड प्लांटी एज वी ऑल नो एनिमल्स कैन मूव एनिमल्स कैन ईट बट एनिमल्स growth is for a limited time whether as plants can't move plants can't eat but their low growth is for life long after that three kingdom concept came into existence and it was proposed by ernst haeckel who discovered kingdom protista and then four kingdom concept was given by copeland but it is still difficult to place some organism into one or the other categories like euglena euglena bear both the characteristics of plants and animals so whether to place whether it is in plants or animalia kingdom other thing euglena is a unicellular organism so finally the five kingdom concept came into existence and it was proposed by r h whitaker in 1959 according to him the there are three basic criteria of classification and the first most criteria is complexity of cell and the second is complexity of organization and the third is mode of nutrition the first most based on complexity of cell there is two types of cell one is prokaryotes and another is eukaryote prokaryote cells lack definite nucleus and the genetic material lies in the cytoplasm whether as eukaryotic cells have definite nucleus and the genetic material lies in the nucleus based on this the some animals some organism have only prokaryotic cells so they fall into kingdom of prokaryotes and they are known as kingdom monera like bacteria eubacteria and archaebacteria after that rest all organism have eukaryotic cells but now the organization complexity is the uh, basis of criteria of classification and based on organization the uni- eukaryotic cells can be eukaryotic organism can be unicellular or multicellular so based on this there is a kingdom of unicellular eukaryotes and they are known as protista all the protistans have eukaryotic cells that means they have a definite nucleus with genetic material inside the nucleus because and uh, there are two main examples all the protozoans and unicellular algae they all fall into kingdom protista after that all the multicellular organism are planty fungi and animalia they all are multicellular eukaryotic organism so they all are called kingdom of eukaryotes but now the mode of nutrition is the basis of their difference and according to mode of nutrition there can be two types of nutrition mode and one is autotroph and second is heterotroph autotrophic nutrition is the <coughs> nutrition in which the animals can synthesize their food own self and this process is called photosynthesis so planty is the kingdom which can produce food with itself so they are called producers and the heterotrophic organism can take food two ways one is ingestion method and second is absorption method by ingestion method animals take food and they have some apparatus they have some structures special structures to by which they take intake the food and the last one is fungi they take food by absorption actually this they secrete enzymes outside the cell and the enzymes 
digest uh, the outer food parts which is absorbed by the fungi based on this they all have all kingdom have three roles in the ecosystem like kingdom plantae are producers in the ecosystem kingdom fungi are decomposers in the ecosystem and kingdom animalia are consumers in the ecosystem <laughs> thank you thank you and thank you for watching this video for more details please log on www.gurukoipyo.com